Hello, hair loves. I am going to be styling my hair, my short little curly looking thing um, with two products today. This is my favorite ref combo for holds. It lasts a long time. I can usually get like two, three, at least, at least three days out of it. Um, there's some things you can do to kind of kind of spice it up or make it look a little bit better. Um, with shorter hair, I typically go three, four days still. When I had longer hair, it was like five, seven days. So pretty good. Um, what I like to do is look at my hair. So I did my makeup first. I usually do my hair first and then my makeup. But since I have been quarantined and haven't been like getting ready or anything, I decided to get ready first so I could feel a little bit, I don't know, better. But um, so my hair, I didn't towel dry it at all. Like I came out of the shower, I was like soap, like soaking wet, dripping down my face wet. Um, it's dried up a little bit. So I'm gonna start with using a spray bottle. I think there's just water in here. If there's anything else, it's like rough conditioner. But um, I'm gonna spray it. This is why I like to do this before I do my makeup so I don't like take off my makeup at all because it can get wet. Like we want your hair wet. Like look how short my hair is. My hair is really fine, um, really curly, but it's still really fine, which means it's really soft to the touch. I have a medium amount. Everyone thinks my hair is super thick, but I think like look, I'm kinda, you can see through my hair. So I'm not that thick. It kind of like grows out and looks thicker, but it's not that thick, but it's really fine. So fine means like the texture, it's really soft and it's, yeah, it's not that, it's not coarse by any means. So I'm wetting it, getting it super juicy wet. And then I kind of like rake through my fingers. I might actually use a little bit of leave-in conditioner. I don't like to too much, but just like a couple, couple sprays. I have a couple of remaining highlights in the front so they get kind of fuzzy. And then I'm going to do this is fiber mousse. So this is that crazy one I'm always talking about. I put like this much in. Again, I don't have that much hair, so you might have to use more. When my hair was longer, I did a couple more pumps and then I work it into my hands. So you work it into a glaze. And actually I might use a little bit more. So I'm gonna put this in my hair and this is how I do it. This time, there's different ways to different techniques, but this is how I'm doing it this time. Just making sure I'm getting it all the way in there. I get it in my sides and my back. This time that I cut my hair, I've cut my hair this short like three or four times. My sides actually stay sh um, pretty straight. This is really long for my sides for me, but it's actually working. I'm gonna be doing the same thing as you guys, waiting till we're able to um, go to the salons. I'm not gonna cut my own hair because I don't think that's fair to my clients. So I'm gonna do that too. So yeah, I'm feeling like I need more. So I'm gonna do another full pump a little more pump, but that's a second. And this is with short hair, short, fine hair. So just remember, you wanna make sure you're using that much too. And then work it into a glaze, activate those fibers. Fiber mousse is good for creating volume. I like volume in my hair, but it doesn't always mean you need volume or it doesn't always create volume, but it really helps those curls stay together. So I'm just finger raking that through. Um, you can use fiber mousse alone. Like if I was like, eh, this is all I'm gonna do, then that's what I would do. But today we're gonna just use a couple pumps of curl power. So I want this to last, but I'm most likely I'm not gonna be doing my hair again. I don't know where my microfiber towel went, but I'm gonna use the shirt that I had on for just so I dry off my hands. So curl power is almost out. Um, right now, Brava is allowing for us to order products for our clients that will be shipped to your home so that it's safe and you don't have to worry about coming to the salon or leaving your house, really. So if you need rough products, let me know. All of them. There's some great ones, and I'll be posting more about it once I have the energy. Now I'm going to use just two pumps. Like, I'm almost at the end. Curl Power is really cool. I've had this for, like, uh, two years now, I think. I don't know. But it lasts a long time, and... Ref fills up their bottles like they don't play around. They're not gonna. They're not gonna cheap you out I think this one's like $18 too. It lasts me almost two years I'm only using two pumps for my curly hair. I typically use anywhere from three to six on my clients or just longer hair in general 
You can use curl power alone as well. I like to use that combo for hold and volume. So I'm just making sure I'm finger raking that through. I don't like my curls to be on top of my head or on my scalp, so I like to make sure that it's not sitting on my, whatever you do when your hair is wet is how it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go in, you see that, you hear that squishy? I don't know if you can hear it, but you wanna hear like squish, squish, squish. It's hot in here. It's finally sunny out today, which is good. I'm probably gonna air dry today. I mainly air dry. Sometimes I diffuse. I diffuse more with shorter hair, but. Okay, so here's my thing, right here, right in this front. I don't know if you can see. I don't like them to be all PC and straggly like that. I don't, I really don't. So I'm gonna bring them forward. So with curl power still in my hand, I'm gonna kind of bring this where I'm trying to look in the mirror while I do it. So bear with me. Sometimes I'll finger curl these. But today I'm not trying to, I want it to be a little natural. I might change my mind in a second, but I'm trying to group them together so they don't. I know my hair, I know what it's gonna do. So like that one right there, splitting those up. So right now I'm just bringing them down. This is kind of different for long hair. I never did this with long hair. I finger coiled them or I just scrunched more. It's kind of hard to scrunch with this short little afro, so. Okay, and then I like to use a toothbrush. I'm gonna put a little foam on it, a little bit. I'm not a big edge girl. Um, I really want my edges to stay there, so I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna put anything that'll choke my hair out or make it unnatural or anything like that. So I'm really just, just making them look decent, that's all. They always look decent. I have finer hair, so they don't really, I they used to fuzz up a lot, but now they don't, so I'm grateful for that. My hair has like a natural hard part in there. It's growing out, so you can't see it. So I'm just gonna create it a little bit more. I like that, and then I'll use my comb to do whatever I gotta do. Lay this back, lay this back. There we go. So easy peasy. I kind of comb this so it's a little bit smoother because again, I have shorter hair, so I gotta make do. This kind of looks a little bit kind of not how I want it to. So I just do what I needed to do. Um, if I feel, I feel like when, after I dry my hair, that's when I, will go in and do my baby hairs underneath if I have the time or if I care. You just don't care. If I don't see it, I don't really care. Do I check the back of my head? Hopefully it's looking decent. I, I'm somebody that's kind of low maintenance. I like to look good, but I don't really put too much thought into it. So up to you if you want to check the back of your head. Make sure, just make sure it's not fuzzy. I feel like that's what I see most of my clients is this back of their head is fuzzy because they're not conditioning it enough they're not putting enough product they're not they're not paying attention to it at all so when you go upside down that's a good time to make sure you are putting enough product in there starting from the shower because whatever you're doing in the shower is going to help you with styling if you're messing around with funky products or you're not using enough conditioner especially with curly hair just forget about it so today i used um ref's um color conditioner it's in the pink bottle i can show you I use this one. I kind of bounce between a ton of different conditioners. I use this one today. It's really nice. It's one of the top sellers. Um, it's really lightweight. So for my shorter hair, I like to use it. But again, I use a ton of different products. So I have a slew of them. I mean, I've narrowed it down, mainly rough products, but I have a couple of other ones that I like to play with as well. But this is the one that I used today. And then I used Ref Fiber Mousse, this one, another top seller, and then Curl Power. So I only use that many products. I added water when I needed to, and that's really the most important part is making sure you set your hair up for success so that it can last 
a few days like at least two days like why would you want to do your hair every day why would you do this like this took me less than 10 minutes usually it takes me to do it takes me like five minutes is that to do my hair on my own but since i was making a video and talking a little bit more we're at about 10 minutes but now what i would do is just air dry usually i would do my makeup get my kids ready respond to some emails or i i usually do my hair at the salon to be honest so i'll sit on the dryer and do my um emails and stuff like that but with shorter hair my hair still takes a while to dry so just have to plan accordingly um i usually do my hair straight away when i get into the shower today i just co-washed i just use the conditioner what you do is you use a little conditioner make sure your hair is wet and you massage it and that's all you do don't think about it too much if you have longer hair start at the end work your way up that simple don't think about it too much just make sure you get everything so if you have really thick hair most of my clients have tons of hair so make sure you're getting underneath and up in here and then so you're going to do a lot of curl yoga we call it upside down doing all that and that's the same with putting in products so if you have any questions let me know